the present techno-economic scenario is marked by increasing competition in almost every sector of the economy. The expectations of the customers are on the rise and manufacturers have to design and produce goods in as many varieties as possible. The concept of economics of scale is no more talked of to cater to the demands of the customers. Thus, there is a challenge before the industries to manufacture goods of right quality and quantity and at right time and at minimum cost for their survival and growth. This demands an increase in the productive efficiency of the organizations. Industrial engineering is going to play a pivotal role in increasing productivity. Various industrial engineering techniques are used to analyze and improve the work methods, to eliminate waste and proper allocation and utilization of resources. Industrial engineering is a profession in which a knowledge of mathematical and natural science is gained by study, experience, and practice is applied with judgment to develop the ways to utilize economically the materials and other natural resources and forces of nature toward the benefit of mankind. According to the American Institute of Industrial Engineers, Industrial engineering is concerned with the design, improvement, and installation of an integrated system of men, materials and equipment. It draws upon specialized knowledge and skills in the mathematical, physical sciences together with the principles and methods of engineering analysis and design to specify, predict and evaluate the results to be obtained from such systems. The prime objective of industrial engineering is to increase the productivity by eliminating waste and non-value-adding, unproductive, operations and improving the effective utilization of resources. Now that we know what industrial engineering is, let's look into the history and development of industrial engineering. To start, the history of industrial engineering dates back to the Industrial Revolution and it has passed through various phases to reach the present advanced and developed stage. Though Frederick Taylor is named as the father of scientific management and industrial engineering, there are many others who contributed to the industrial engineering field before Taylor and then they got associated with industrial engineering. Adam Smith's concept of division of labor through his book The Wealth of the Nation in 1776 is important as it influenced the factory system. James Watt, R. Kuwright, Bolton Matthew and Robinson obtained a place in the history of industrial engineering because of their progressive and scientific attitude towards the improvements in the performance of machines and industries. The period between 1882 to 1912 was the critical period in the history of industrial engineering. The important works during this period include Number 1, the factory system and owner engineer and manager concept. Number 2, equal work, equal pay and incentive schemes. Number 3, scheduling and Gantt charts. Number 4, engineers started taking interest in cost control and accounting. The most often quoted and acknowledged investigator that have led to be the discipline of industrial engineering in the present form was F. W. Taylor who took interest in human aspects of production and productivity. The modern industrial engineering techniques had their origin during the period between 1940 to 1946. Predetermined time standards, in short PMTS, value analysis and system analysis are few prominent ones. They were expanded, refined and applied in subsequent years. Operation research technique has brought a revolution and changed and expanded the scope of industrial engineering activities. Computers have added dimension to the industrial engineering activities. And after all those evolutions and development, let's look into the present state of industrial engineering. Industrial engineering has not remained restricted to manufacturing activities but has extended its services to service industries also. The development of techniques like value engineering, operation research, CPM and part, human engineering, or ergonomics, systems analysis, advances in information technology and computer packages, and mathematical and statistical tools have expanded the scope of activities of industrial engineering. Thus industrial engineering has taken a firm position in the organization and it is contributing maximum towards increasing productivity and efficiency in particular and quality of work life in general.